Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And yeah, I did it with the fingers because I've done it four times and I've moved evening and afternoon around each other quite a few times. I almost said good arvo, good arvo to anyone out there who is in Australia. I might as well chuck that one in there, even though I am now filming this one right as afternoon strikes for us. But this is most likely just going to be me just rambling and hopefully quickly uh, about my um, current hearing circumstance. Yes, I know I do have the flag behind me. <laughs> I did manage to get the flag more in more into the picture, so you can actually see it a little bit better there. I've got that going on. Um, well, this blighter, my hearing aid has to sit in my head more because my hearing has been progressively getting worse but no idea why so I'll be trying to see if I can get into a specialist again so I can see if there's anything else that I can do about that but I don't know so yeah the PS5 is kicking up every now and then because it's doing its updates and stuff so yes and you can probably hear the um, opening or the title card bit for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I always keep that on my board, I don't know why, I just seem to like it just because it's fluffy and fuzzy and it's a nice game to go back to and it's actually quite enjoyable. Blowing the crap out of aliens and all sorts of other stuff and everything else and yada yada yada. But yeah, you're not here, you're not watching that for this, you're watching that for the fact that I am saying that I am going deaf. So, let's go have a knock on effects with all of my other bits and pieces, especially uh, any of the vlogs that I want to do or anything like that. So hopefully a lot more of my stuff is going to be over, no it won't let me do it that way will it? No, no. So a lot more of my stuff is going to be over, which this screen doesn't want to pick up there, it's going to be over on Twitch. I'm trying to pick up my Twitch a bit more. I'm trying to get my Twitch running a little bit quicker and stuff like that. I've been doing some F1 league racing with a group of guys who I've um, bumped into on um, Discord because I was watching one of them um, with some of his other streams and stuff like that and some of his other videos. Um, so it happens that one of them is a YouTuber as well. well a couple of them are YouTubers. So I've jumped across with them and we've been doing some um, Twitch streams. Some of it is like the, your F1 stuff and like your Warzone and Rebirth and things like that. So we are jumping back and forth with that. I am trying to see if I can come up with a, a decent way to do it. I do have GT7 which I'll probably try to do something or something. I do also have the headset obviously which yes. I know me saying I'm going deaf isn't exactly easy, but to be honest, having a headset is better than shouting at your control pad. You know, I'd rather have the headset on. At least with the headset, I can always pop it away from my ear when I need to. I can always have it as mono, just because it's easier that way. But yeah, so my rugby and football vlogs might be a little bit slightly more higgledy piggledy and everything else. All the things on here might literally just be the how it's going, this is the path. Some of it might just be, hi, I'm streaming on Twitch, come watch me now. You know, stuff like that. And I might need to start making some more of those little catch-ups, I don't know. But yada, yada, yada. Also as well, if I can actually um, get into town a little bit quicker, stuff like that, and I can find out some of the demolition um, possibilities with some of the projects which are going on in the town centre around the galleries and that lot, I might be able to um, catch possibly some of the building work and demolition work going on with that, if and or when I can sort that out, or if I get a job in the meantime, other things won't change. So yes, a lot of it is health and money dependent, but with this, so for instance if you wanted to know what it feels like for me, imagine that you have your worst sinus cold, you then have what feels like cotton wool being stuffed down your ear. 
You have one of those little squidgy ear protector bud things pushed in, but it has a tiny little hole in it so that you can hear. So that's everything on a good day on that. So this is just the feeling, by the way, not the sound, it's just the feeling. On a bad day, you have all of that, plus then you have then wax, not like molding wax, pushed onto your ear and then inside as well to compact and hold everything in. You then have what the only thing I can say would be a decent thick piece of cardboard pushed over it with more wax stuff on top of it. And you then have, just I'm grabbing these just because they're right by me, a set of headphones or ear defenders pushed on and clipped on very tight so that so that you can't hear anything. Yep. So this is that. And then you then have let's say a crown around the two big lead weights which constantly keep changing where they are in position and pitch. So sometimes they can be perfectly level. One can be leaning you like that. The other one could be leaning you like that. They could both be pulling you backwards. One could be pulling you forwards whilst one's pulling you backwards. Because it's literally cycling like that. And then also it feels constantly that there's a vacuum being drawn behind the eardrum constantly pulling it. There's that. And for the sound part of it, so for the tinnitus and everything else that goes on. Imagine that you've locked yourself in a room which is the size of your bathroom or whatever, a decent sized room, which has a washing machine on it which can only go to full speed and stay there until you switch it off. A dryer which is only for heavy garments and shoes or slippers. It makes a heck of a racket. You then have an old CRT TV which you can put up on, which only picks up static and is stuck on super loud volume. Yep. So all those are going. So you've got all of that around you. Yep. So that's just your everyday background noise that I hear. Along with pressure and everything else of sometimes being able to hear and feel my heartbeat. On a bad day, you've then got a friend who has what V like call it V8 powered mowers. And they're just right to red line constantly and they're just constantly well, they're just just before they're red line so they're not bouncing off the limit. But they're constantly right up there on high rev. And then you've got a neighbour who is a jet engine enthusiast who's just got a jet engine. And it's that is one of them is absolutely throttled to the max and constantly screaming. That is on a bad day. Now, how much mentally do you think that takes to be able to deal with that? It is a lot. It's a lot to deal with. So that is how bad that really is. So yes. If some of you do follow me and I do get a little bit short or whatever and I have had a bad day, yes, I am quite very stressed and very drained because it takes it out of you. You can wake up and be perfectly fine and then after lunchtime, everything will just go. It will switch off when it wants. It will do what it wants. You don't get a warning. If it literally wants to cause you pain, which is not the physical kind of pain that you can deal with with painkillers, there's nothing you can do. You just have to just grin and bear it. The only way that can go through it is literally using, basically using super powerful painkillers that doesn't numb the pain. It takes you out of the situation. You have to literally be mentally taken out of the situation. You have to literally check out. You have to be numb you have to be it's like that sensation when you go to the dentist and they numb your face that sort of thing if you could have like what novocaine or lidocaine or whatever it is if you could if i could have that in there and i could have a, per, a personal supply of that i would never feel that because i would be out i'm not saying take drugs but that is the limit of where it's at, is if I could have that constantly numbed and taken out of the bother, that would be bliss. I need to learn sign language at some point. I really do, because this won't survive. 
my right ear is slowly starting to also show signs that it is on its way to degradation town. Now, what, well, call it 30 years, because even though it was when I was very tiny, when I was about one or two, that they did say that this was going to happen, but, you know, I'm going to say 30 years rather than saying 32, like 32 or 33 years or even 35 years. But I'm just going to round it to 30 years. So 30 years of my right ear being the more dominant ear. 30 years of it making up where the left is lacking. 30 years of it picking up every bit of slack and it balancing everything out. I think it's time that it is wanting its time. It is wanting some attention. So my right ear might be following soon. So that is always going to be an, a path, you know, but that's just the life that I have to deal with, with that. So any of you who are watching this, who are wanting anything, are, are hoping for me to turn around and say, yeah, I'm going to be at the next rugby match or I'm going to be at the first home game for the football season. There is zero guarantee that I can do that. I may have to drop those off and just keep those literally as an ad hoc thing. They might literally just disappear. This channel might change again. You know, I did change it and try to make it more kind of that rugby and football and more gaming orientated stuff. A lot of my gaming stuff, as I've said, is going over to Twitch. So any of you who are looking for me on Twitch, it is Foxstar1387. Because I will be over on Twitch as much as I possibly can be. Give or take. But I don't know what I'll be playing. I'll probably be, what, on GT. I might be on, you know, you never know. I might do a bit of Fallout. I might even try Cyberpunk. I might be on Final Fantasy. I might just do some City Skylines. I could be doing the Rugby League stuff. I could be on, you know, Rift Apart. I might be doing Mal Miles Morales. Whatever. You know, I am doing the F1 stuff and a couple of other bits and pieces. As I've mentioned with the other group. There is things in the pipeline that I have planned, but I need the timing, the money, and I need the health in place. Anything as regards to any Sheffield vlogs, they will come and they will go. They will just fall in wherever they can. So, that's been me for nearly 13 minutes. Anyway, so that has been me, Foxstar1387, signing out. Peace.